everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Today's workout is all about the backside, so we're going to be working all the muscles that will help shape a round, firm booty. So let's get started. For today's workout, you can choose to do it timed, but I am doing it for repetitions. I'm going to go for 20 reps. The breakdown included recommended number of reps and rounds, as always, will be on my blog, BenderFitness.com. So, exercise number one is a lunge kick switch. So you're going to start in your lunge position. I'm going to put my right foot back first. 90 degree angle in the front and back leg. We're going to kick, step right back into it, and then jump, switching sides. So that was one rep. Two. Make sure you lower into the lunge before switching. Three. Find that balance. That was eight. That's thirteen. That was 17. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay, next we have for your deadlift. So for this one, I'm gonna use weights. You can choose to do this body weight also, whatever you prefer. If you're gonna use weights, hold them close to your body, arms straight throughout the movement, back stays flat and straight. Left arm can reach or left leg can reach back first. So flat line with the back, slight bend in the standing leg, and come up to stand. That's one. You can touch down if you need to in between. If not, keep going. It's 10. Core tight. That's 15. As you go down, the back knee stays facing the ground. 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Set the weights down for just a second. We're going to do the other side. Right leg reaching back this time. Again, weight close to your knee, close to your leg, slight bend in the standing leg. Knee facing toward the ground. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, flat back, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, uh, quick sip of water. Next we're gonna do pretzel. So we get to sit on the mat. Okay, so for this one, you're going to sit both feet going in the same direction. So we'll start turning the knees to the left. Core pulls in tight, you can lean slightly forward. You can put your hands down. What you're going to do, keep this foot flexed, lift this knee off the ground. Three. So squeeze right here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Feel the obliques working also. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing on the other side. So switch the direction of the knees. Lean over, put your hands down. You can hold them up if you want to. It's a little more challenging that way. One, two, three. Feel the core working too. Four, five. Lift and squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. Okay, next we have side squat and lift. So we're gonna put our feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. We're gonna squat and tap toward our right foot first. So squat. Hips go back and low, tap, lift. Knee faces forward this time. Two, three, four, five, six. Stay strong in the standing leg. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing on the other side. So squatting toward the left foot this time. Whew, here we go. Butt reaches down and back. One. Knee forward. Two. Three. Four. Butt reaching back. Five. That 
that's 10. Nineteen, one more, twenty. Okay, next we have the kneeling side kick. So come down, kneel on both legs, core tight. Left hand's gonna go behind your head, lean with the right. So your feet are facing toward the wall. We're gonna lean into this hand and extend the left foot. Core stays tight, you're gonna kick. Use that core to try and keep the back leg in place. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, need to shake it out for a second, or just rest it for a second, that was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, it's always the ones that look easy that are the hardest. Okay, so next we're gonna do that on the other side. Core tight, right hand behind the head, lean over. Find that balance, core tight. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, ah. Don't worry, I'm going to finish. <laughs> the down dog hop. So we'll start with our left leg hopping. Start out in the plank, reach the butt up to down dog, drop the heels. We're going to do our left knee forward and then drive it up with the hop. Two. If the hop's too much, Three. just go to here without Four. the hop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Right leg kicking this time. Shake out the shoulders. Move on as soon as you're ready. <laughs> I need a second. Okay. Plank position. Down dog. Bring right leg forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Ooh, we're almost done. <laughs> okay. Next we have plie jumps. Feet more than hip distance apart. Toes pointing out. Oh, my shoulders are burning. <laughs> okay. Toes pointing out. Tailbone is going to tuck. So what that means from the side. Don't do this. No back arching. Tuck the hips. Make the tailbone so it would go straight toward the floor. Okay. Might not look as cute as a little booty pop, but it's not the right form. <laughs> so here we go. Squat down. Thighs come close to parallel or too parallel. Hop. If you're not comfortable with the arms, you can keep them at prayer. Or shoulder height down. Knit. Four. Five. Six. Keep the chest lifted. Try not to lean forward. Keep it lifted and tucked. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Keep the knees pressing out. Fourteen. Sixteen. 20. Oh, I had to fight for that last half. Okay, prone leg lift. Lay on your belly. We will lift the left leg first. Head can lay on your hands, or you can even just press your forehead against the floor. Left leg lifts. Try and keep the hips down. That's one. So lift and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, keep breathing, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one on the side, 20. Okay, same thing on the other side. So keep that position. Hips stay pressing into the ground. Oh, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
two, three, lift and hold, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Last exercise of this round. Got his heel press. So for this one, we're going back to our plie position. Toes point out at an angle, core tight, chest stays lifted. Hands can come to prayer or for an extra challenge, bring them up overhead. So you're going to squat down to parallel or close to it, chest stays lifted. You're going to come up onto the toes, lifting the heels in down. That's two. Three. Every time you come down, lower into it. Four. Seven. Keep those knees pressing out. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. My thighs are burning. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, two more, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Okay, my thighs and buns felt this workout. Hopefully yours did too. As always, the breakdown will be on my site, benderfitness.com, along with how many rounds I do. If I do any other exercise today, these are my actual workouts that I do to stay in shape. So I hope to see you guys there, benderfitness.com. Don't forget, click subscribe if you like getting free workouts, and click like if you like the video. So have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.